Straightening images in Camera Raw is really pretty easy. And here are the steps right here in this slide lecture. What I would like to do is walk through these steps with you with an image. I think it's something that is commonly done. I do it quite frequently because I find that um, converging lines sometimes bug me or sometimes like with this image here, I <clears throat> just didn't photograph it straight on or sometimes the building actually has some, uh, some lines that aren't so straight. So this one's pretty extreme here. So I'm actually going to open this image to demonstrate. And again, this is a raw image. So with this raw image, I can just double click and it will launch automatically in camera raw first. So um, the easiest way to do this is using the tools and the specific tool is going to be the transform tool. So if I select this, um, I have some options here over here in this panel. So at the very top, I've got some preset corrections to the image. And again, this is pretty extreme. So it's, so it's kind of applying some changes that you can see, but not all the way. And so with that selected, that gives it a good start. I think now, if you look down here, I can go in with these sliders and customize it even more. So the majority of, of what's happening here is the lines are converging because again, I wasn't shooting it from straight on. I was looking up. So from a vertical transformation, I want to straighten that out. And while I'm doing that, I would like some guidelines. So down here, if this isn't already showing up for you, you can activate a grid and a grid is nice, so you can use that as that guideline um, to help you out and make sure that you really perfect the correction or make it as perfect as you think it needs to be. Okay, so there, that looks pretty good. There's a little bit horizontal adjustment that I'd like to make. And then I would like to rotate a little bit and that is looking much better. It's looking much better, but you notice with these changes, they are pretty extreme. I'm ending up with some transparent areas here. There are a couple things you can do. If you notice down here, there's a scale slider, so I can zoom this in and crop those out. I could go use the crop tool. I could also open it up in Photoshop and maybe take out the transparency a different way uh, by using content aware fill. Um, anyway, there are a couple of different options for you to do from this point. So with that done, I, oh, I just want one more little adjustment to line up that line at the top. And I think this is good to go. So with this, again, I can open it in Photoshop and it would apply those images to the Photoshop document that I open, or I can select done and it closes in bridge. And that symbol is the instructions, the camera instructions that are being applied to the image. And if I ever wanted to go back and make more adjustments, I can just simply double click on it and it will open up and I can, I can do more adjustments to my transformation or I can do use any other tool or any other adjustment that I want here in Camera Raw. So that's it for Camera Raw. Again, I, I highly recommend that you go in and really work with a lot of images and get familiar with how Camera Raw works and all the adjustments and all the tools.